All right, so on this project, we are going to be building a very simple PayPal shopping cart. Um, well, I should say very simple, but um, minimal bells and whistles. Um, basically, I want to get you familiar with the CodeIgniter framework. Uh, that's what we'll be using here. And CodeIgniter is an MVC framework. And if you don't know what MVC is, it stands for Model View Controller and it's it's actually kind of hard to to explain but it's basically a design pattern um, where your controller is is basically the entry point for your application um, the last project that we did the the talking space forum was almost like an MVC framework because we had a, um, an entry file um, like topic.php and then from that we went to a library to to use the database class and pull in information or even insert information into the database and that's what a model does okay a model deals with data um, usually in a database but not always and then a view is just like uh, a template in our last project we called them templates but they're essentially the same thing it's just uh, the display that the user interacts with and the controller loads the view as well just like in our last project the base files um, that I actually called controllers a few times uh, would load the template for us alright so this is the same thing it's just a view um, so this is basically this the, the simplest um, diagram that I could find um, so the browser interacts with the controller so let's say we have a code igniter app and it's called myapp.com if we go to myapp.com slash users that's going to automatically bring us to the users controller all right usually we would have another slash and then something like register so what this would do would bring us to the users controller to the register method or function all right it's all object orientated um, it's all in classes controllers models they're all classes um, and then if we wanted to pass a parameter in there like I don't know a user with the ID of 19 or something like that so it would be the user the users controller the register method in the users controller and then we would pass in 19 to the register method as a parameter alright so that's kinda how the how it, they're called routes all right, that's how CodeIgniter um, basically works with the browser. And if you've never used CodeIgniter or MVC, then you might be a little overwhelmed, but um, the application we're building really isn't that complicated. Um, so you should be able to follow, follow along okay. All right, so the home site for CodeIgniter is ellislab.com. All right, and there's just uh, a ton of, um, we click on code igniter ton of documentation uh, if you do the project and you really like code igniter I definitely suggest going to the manual uh, or the documentation and um, if you click on table of contents it just has everything um, class reference so there's just a ton of different libraries that you can use input libraries security sessions pagination output language config uh, shopping cart class which we'll be using there's just a whole bunch and then there's helper reference okay so code igniter use helper uses helpers just like we did in our last um, application um, file helpers HTML form form validation uh, there's just a ton and general topics routes controllers models views uh, URLs, things like that. So I definitely suggest if you like CodeIgniter um, to just basically go through this, uh, the whole manual. All right, you can learn a lot and it's it's pretty easy to understand. I think, uh, in my opinion, CodeIgniter is one of the, the easiest PHP frameworks to learn. And it's actually, uh, I, I think I'd say it's my favorite framework and I try to kind of write my custom PHP applications uh, using some of the same principles that CodeIgniter uses. Alright, so what we're going to be building is um, a fairly simple shopping cart. Alright, and we're going to use CodeIgniter along with the 
cart library or cart class that CodeIgniter offers, which basically takes advantage of sessions to give you a nice, um, a nice shopping cart. All right, so basically, uh, we have a products page, and this is going to be a gaming site called the Gaming Place. Um, it's just one of the first things that came to my mind, uh, and I kind of wanted to have some kind of um, specific niche where all the products were related. All right, so basically we have products and we have categories. All right, so they're categorized into separate consoles: Xbox One games, PS4, Nintendo Wii, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Nintendo Wii games, and other console games. All right, and then down here we just have the most popular, which are the most um, purchased games. Uh, and here we can add games to our cart. All right, we can change the quantity if we want. We can say we want two, add to cart, and you can see over here we have a little cart in our sidebar uh, that has the total, and we can actually update our cart through here as well. If we want to change it to one, we can click update, and it actually brings us to our cart. Um, and you can see that it has the title of the game, uh, shipping costs, tax, which we can define in our configuration, and then the total, all right. And to check out, you actually need to create an account, all right. So you can create an account, go through, register, um, kind of like the last application we did. Uh, you'll just register and you'll immediately be able to log in, all right. So we can log in here just to show you. Okay, so now we're logged in, and if we go to the cart. Now we have a spot for shipping info. All right, so we can fill that out. Click checkout. Uh, the each product will go into an orders table, uh, which will have the user ID that ordered the the games. Um, each game, it'll have uh, all the address stuff um, so that the um, so the seller could ship the games, um, and then it's going to redirect to PayPal. And it's going to use um, it's going to we're going to use a PayPal class that allows us to use Express Checkout, and it doesn't just um, show up as one product for it with a total of the, all the games that the user bought. It'll actually show each game in the PayPal user interface. All right, so they can the seller can actually log into PayPal and see exactly which products were purchased. Um, and I'm just going to kind of use a general um, open source PayPal class. We're not going to actually create it from scratch um, because that would just take way too long. And I think it would, it's, it's um, just the level of uh, coding is above this, this tutorial. All right, so we'll go to PayPal, they pay, get sent back to the site, and um, that's that really. Uh, we're not going to have advanced features with this cart. Um, I, I want to get it done in a, a minimal amount of videos. I don't want you to have to watch 100 videos. So that's really it. Um, just like with every other project, we'll develop the interface first, which it, again is using Bootstrap um, with some customization. So what we'll do is basically uh, create an HTML template design this um, and then we'll get into uh, developing the application but before we build the interface I, I just want to install code igniter and just get it set up uh, on our server so if you go to lslab.com slash code igniter uh, you just click the green download button all right, and it'll download the latest version now is 2.2.0. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm using XAMP, so we're going to go into HT Docs, and let's see, I'm going to change the name of the gaming place so that we can use that folder name. Change that to done, and then we'll create our folder.
and what we're going to do is open the code igniter zip and take everything out um, except for we don't need the user guide we don't need the license unless you want it the user guide is actually a, an exact replication of the the manual that's available on the code igniter site uh, well I, th I think it's an exact copy I know that it, it has a lot of the same stuff um, so now we have all of our application files basically system we're not going to touch um, it's just the core framework files we don't need to touch that our application folder is where all the things that um, we're gonna deal with alright so we have our config files you can see there's a bunch of them we have auto loaders so we don't have to manually load all our classes configurations uh, database connection um, routes all kinds of things controllers okay that's where all our controllers will go there's a welcome controller by default um, core we don't really need to touch um, errors helpers uh, libraries which basically work like the libraries in our last application if we want to add custom ones uh, models and views okay so those are the main folders that we're going to be dealing with so the first thing we want to do I'm going to open up notepad plus plus and go to the gaming place folder application folder and I'm going to open up in my config I'm going to open up uh, database.php and but actually before we edit this let's go create one alright so I'm gonna create I'm gonna go to PHP my admin and I'm gonna create a database called gaming place okay so now I'll go back to the database configuration file and uh, for username I'm gonna put my database username password uh, database is gonna be gaming place alright so that's all we have to do to configure our database so we can save that and close that alright so let's see what happens if we go to the front end localhost slash the gaming place and it gives us this default page alright so it says this page is being generated dynamically by code igniter uh, if you'd like to edit this page you can find it located at and then it gives you the the view for the page which is the welcome message view okay it's in the views folder um, and the controller for this is in the controllers folder called welcome.php now you can set a default controller um, in this case it's welcome and the default controller is accessed when you don't actually have a controller name here okay if we put users here it's gonna go to the users controller if we put welcome it's gonna go to the welcome control or not actually you know what it's because we don't have um, search engine friendly URLs um, by default you need to have index.php and then slash the controller name so that takes us back to welcome now we don't want this alright we want to be able to just go to our controller like this alright so what we need to do is create a dot ht access file alright and that'll allow us to rewrite our URLs to look better alright so what we want to do here is in our application folder um, actually you can see that the application folder has a dot ht access this isn't the one we want we actually want to put it in the root alright so let's say new fo new file and call it dot ht access alright so I'm gonna paste a block of code in here and I can't really explain exactly what everything does just know that it rewrites our URLs to um, just to look so I'm going to paste this in here. All right. So basically, um, people are not going to be able to access system files. Everything's going to go through the index PHP file. All right. And we can add exceptions, and we need exceptions for things like our images folder. Uh, those should be accessible. CSS, JavaScript, 
our robots text file favicon if we have one uh, these are all exceptions and you can put different you can put new folder names in here if you want different things accessed uh, directly through the browser but otherwise it's going to go through our index file so if we go ahead and save this all right and then one other thing to do is go to the config and then routes and down here where is it maybe it's not routes but you can see routes is where you define your default controller in this case is welcome uh, ultimately our default controller is going to be products because we want products displayed on our home page um, but I, I guess it's not routes I think it's config then uh, yeah okay so config.php you can see this uh, config index page you want to take this away okay just make this equal to nothing because we don't want to have index.php slash whatever all right so that's good uh, base URL we should also put that in in our case or in my case it's going to be localhost slash the gaming place okay so I'm going to put that in there and you should also have the forward slash at the end okay so that's our base URL so if we save this and now we try to reload this without index.php it works okay so now we can go to directly to the controller and not have to put in index.php alright so now that we have code igniter installed and ready to go um, in the next I, I want to go to uh, develop our user interface next um, just because I, I just want to get that out of the way before we actually jump in and get into PHP mode.